Hello everyone, welcome back to Screen Rides. In this video, we're going to take a look at the top performers from the 2020 Hungarian Grand Prix. We're going to look at the top 6 performers from the 2020 Hungarian Grand Prix. At number 1, we have Lewis Hamilton. Lewis has made winning a habit and it's not easy to win a Grand Prix in any consistent manner, obviously, which he has done so many times. The odds to have a podium and to win the Hungarian Grand Prix were in Lewis's favor. This first place finish is Lewis's third Hungarian Grand Prix in a row and this would be the eighth time he's winning at a single track tying him with Michael Schumacher. He also accounted for the fastest lap in his Mercedes giving him an extra point totaling 26 points for the race win. We need your support, kindly hit the like button and if you're new to the channel, click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for updates. At number 2, we have Red Bull Mechanics and Max Verstappen. Max had a minor crash before the start of the race, even Lewis thought he was out. I thought you said Verstappen's out. Yeah, they managed to get that car sorted on the grid. Kudos to the mechanics who repaired the car in a timely manner just before the race start. Max had a 1 out of 5 chance to podium at the Hungarian Grand Prix. He managed to finish 2nd, though starting 7th from the grid. Top performer number 3 is Lance Stroll. Lately, everyone is speaking about the pink Mercedes from Racing Point. Nice one guys! Big points in the bag! The odds were at 1 out of 4 for Stroll to have a podium finish. Though falling off one position from the starting grid, Stroll finished fourth. At number four, we have Alex Albon. Let us remember that Alex was not happy with his team during qualifying. Oh, guys, but why did we wait again? Sorry, guys, but I, I told you, I told you, just don't put me in traffic. Albon started the race from 13th position and did some masterful driving to finish fifth overall. At number five, we have Danny Ricardo. Though he has seen better times, Ricardo and Ronald deserve some credit. Ricardo started at the 11th position from the grid and managed to pull off 8th position overall. Not too bad. In at number 6, we have Team Haas and Kevin Magnussen. Haas made a decision that proved to be a critical one. For the start of the race, they were instructed to start from the pit where they change on to the slicks. Okay, Kevin, I think we'll box now. Box now. Yeah, I agree. For dry, yeah? For dry. For the initial set of laps, Magnussen and Grosjean were maintaining third and fourth positions respectively. Eventually, the rest of the F1 teams realized the benefit and had all their drivers pit in. The first set of points will come from Magnussen at the end of the race. Magnussen had finished P9. I can't tell you how excited he was. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? <laughs> oh. Oh, how can you be so happy awesome, about buddy. P9? This feels like we'll a win. Take what we can get. It was awesome, buddy. <laughs> Unfortunately, both Haas cars were slapped with a 10 second penalty as the FIA pointed out from their FIA sporting regulation from Article 27.1. The driver must drive the car alone and unaided. Magnussen got his first point of the season from this race, which is still a good effort. Hamilton now leads the overall standing at 63. Bottas and Verstappen in second and third respectively. Albon and Perez are tied at 22 points. Leclerc and Stroll are tied at 18 points. Both Kuyat and Magnussen are tied at one point each. Will any of the drivers in red without a point get off the mark in the next Grand Prix? Were you satisfied? With this Grand Prix, were your drivers in the top results? Let us know in the comments below. To support the channel, please subscribe. For notification, hit that bell. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter as well. Also, check out the other videos on this channel. And stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. See you next time.